Good morning, Mother's Raising Teen Daughters. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm gonna give y'all a few seconds to pop in and then I will keep going. How are you? I am Kiana Shaw, CEO of Lead Hership Academy and the creator of this group, Mother's Raising Teen Daughters. Um, and I'm excited, I'm excited. Today is just full of so many possibilities. It just is. And I said, you know how you got that feeling inside of you, like something's about to happen. But you know, it's not a bad thing, but you don't know what it is. And so you're just excited because it gotta be good, right? <laughs> That's how I feel this morning. So um, I wanted to pop in and do a question of the day. Um, I selected a question um, from Miss Lewis this morning and she was asking how do you get your daughter to care about her appearance i'm gonna hold the phone because um it's like bouncing all around as i'm driving but her question was how do you get your daughter to care about her appearance and she was talking about like wrinkled clothes and things like that and so i would say that the big thing is to set the standard, right? If the clothes are wrinkled, you gotta you gotta iron them every night. I need to see them, and that's because self presentation is important. And so when you bring it from a perspective of this is not about you being lazy, this is about or this is not about your personal style. This is about how it is perceived. When you want to do self presentation, you're in high school, college colleges are on campus right and if you don't have time to iron if you're looking sloppy that affects how a person views you right now this is not about you know wanting people to like you this is about self presentation i am preparing you to go to work and when you start going to work you can't go with wrinkled clothes on you cannot go to work with wrinkled clothes so instead of coming at it from a perspective of you know i'm your mother and you're gonna do it the way I said do it. Come from a perspective of this is how you do self presentation. This is included. How you smell is a part of your self presentation, right? So hygiene is important. How you look um, when you show up for job interviews, when you show up for work. School is your job. School is your job. Your grades are your rent money. <laughs> it's how you pay your rent. So as far as your your stance should be, I am preparing you for something better. I'm preparing you for something more and you have to do it like this because this is the standard, right? And if you can't trust her to do it, then you make her do it at night so that you have time or you wake her up early in the morning. Either, hang, you know, iron your clothes, hang them up at night <clears throat> or you get up 20 minutes earlier. Those, those, if you want to do the negotiation, it's not negotiation. This is your options. Your clothes have to be ironed by this time so you can get up early to get it done or you can just go ahead and do it. But this is the time, right? So if she has to be awake and showered and all of that, you just figure out what time works for you. And never let the time be the time that she would normally get up, right? It needs to be 20 minutes before. So if she would normally get up at 6.30, right? And then she would, you know, take her shower and all of that. Okay, by 6 a.m., your clothes need to be ironed or I'm waking you up. And when I wake you up, we have a problem, right? The problem is you're not following the rules. You're not following the instructions that were given. That's how you solve that. As far as, I don't know, hair and all of that, let's be sure that you're not interjecting um, your personal style on her right because punky brewster made a whole lot of money being different <laughs> and i think that when we make our kids look like everyone else all the time they start to act like other people too and so i would say strike a balance you know if you want to wear mitch max socks that's fine that's your personal style nobody has a problem with that but it does have to be presentable you don't get to have mitch max socks and um you know your hair is a mess and you know it's just it's all about understanding like some people some people like that all black i think they call it golf um you know black makeup black hair or whatever and it's like okay but you can't wear the clothes baggy you you know it's like if you don't say that you want to stand out and then but you want to look like these people because that's not standing out what you're saying is i need a group of people who identify with me let's deal with that issue you understand what I'm saying? So keep that in mind. Your personal style as a mom is not going to fit. My personal 
personal style. I grew up, you know, in the TLC era. So I was always trying to wear baggy clothes. I was always trying to, you know, I mean, I drew the line myself at a condom <laughs> in my glasses. I wasn't going to do that. But, um... I did want to wear the baggy clothes and I did, you know, I enjoyed that baggy look. It was comfortable, right? It, it didn't take a lot of effort to have the baggy look. And so, um, my mother's personal style though, does not suit or fit around that brand. It just doesn't. <laughs> and so that was a conflict, but she allowed me to wear the baggy clothes some days. But if you go on with me, you you got to dress better than that. You you need clothes that fit. And then she never purchased the baggy clothes. That was something I had to purchase on my own. So that made a difference as well because it's like, do I want to spend this money on clothes or do I want to spend it going to Disneyland or Magic Mountain doing something that I enjoy doing? And so I had to make choices around that. Um, and that shaped my spending habit on baggy clothes because she bought everything else, right? So keep that in mind um your personal style is is not going to be her personal style and remember that her personal style is influenced by the culture that she's in so you have to keep that in mind all right i'll talk to you guys later thank you so much i am kiana shaw ceo of lead her ship academy <clears throat> excuse me um and who was i gonna say <laughs> CEO of Lead Hership Academy and the creator of this group, Mothers Raise the Teen Daughters. Feel free to share the videos, even though I know that I just unwrapped my hair and didn't put on any makeup or anything. It's it's like that sometimes when you dive. <laughs> so that that is an expectation um, of me. <laughs> I'm not gonna be a beauty queen every day. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. See you soon.